Hello friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake uh, YouTube channel video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you word count program using PySpark RDD. Uh, even if you're not using RDD, even in some interviews you can expect uh, some question regarding what is word count program and how to do word count. So their intention is if anyone coming from uh, very old uh, like uh, on-premises projects, so they will be asking this kind of question because even we won't use RDD in cloud. Primarily we'll be using data frame, but still you can expect some question uh, regarding to understand Spark core. Okay, so let's understand today what is word count program and how to do word count using PySpark RDD. So let's start with one example. We are going to take one uh, like uh, some data and we'll do word count. Let's Google it, take some sample data. So triple R story, just take from triple R story from Wiki. And I'm going to copy this entire uh, text data. So just I want to do the word count on this data, on this data. Okay, just first paste in uh, notepad as it's a browser data, right? We can see some special characters. So let's let's create a file in Databricks. Create a file in Databricks. So using a dbutils, dbutils dot fs dot put, and uh, you can create a data file in particular location, file store or tables, then file name, um, triple R, dot txt uh, then when you are creating a file uh, if it is more than one line use a triple quotes okay so this data file i'm going to create in a data bricks and once file is available i can show you the file as well this is a file and uh, take the file location it's a bigger okay it's around 63000 bytes and you can read the file using a head. It is a function to read a file in a file system. And just uh, verify, make sure that the file is available in a Databricks community edition. Okay, now file is available, you see this. File is available. Let's read this file and create a data frame. So I'm going to create a, a, a triple R RDD. So Spark context.txt file and provide the location and whenever you create rdd with a file right so default it will create a minimum two partitions even you can verify that using a get num partitions function you can see two partitions and first we need to split this data and then convert into words then mapping so one by one one by one we'll do that so first what we will do, so using a flat map, if you go with a flat map and uh, you can flat run the data if it is a nested using a flat map, first we will convert into these lines into words because these lines into words. This data, when you can verify before that, use a collect, you can see the data. So these lines will convert into words based on space based on space space is the delimiter we'll use using a flat map flat map and uh, lambda function is input argument and uh, uh, we'll read each data you can use any argument like a uh, x as a parameter and uh, then what we will do so we will uh, convert into everything in a one case lower case then we will split uh, using a split function based on space. Let's show you the output first because we are using a flat map. So it will convert into words. You see this multiple words. If you're not using a flat map, if you are using only map, right? It will be nested collection like map and tuple. Sorry, list and tuple. You see this. So a list and another list. So nested collection. One, say, one, one list inside that another list. You can see this. So instead of that, if you go with a flat map, it will flat run the data. That's why I'm going to use a flat map. Even some interviews, people will ask difference between map and flat map. So map, if you go with a 
nested collection it will display if you don't want that if you want to flat run go with the flat map okay and even there are some mtr there empty words so you can filter using filter transformation so create one rdd rdd underscore words now these are the words then on top of this you can apply filter and uh, use lambda function and read each value and filter not equal to single quote then you can collect that this data and uh, display wherever empty are there it will ignore that you see this now you can create another rdd if you want to create rdd valid rdd valid data remove collect then it will return another rdd on top of this so what we will do we will do the map we will add one to each word for word count analysis so using map transformation then and the input is a lambda function i'll read each word and i'll add one to that so this is called mapping so you can collect this data i'll show you this data first then we'll create another rdd on top of this now it has a key value pair you see this converted individual word and uh, mapping is done and uh, one added it's a key value pair when it is a key value pair right you can apply reduce by key and do the word count so rdd key value pair so i convert it into key value pair then on top of this i'll apply reduce by key so using a lambda input as argument so lambda function and uh, cumulative values so a comma b or x comma y whatever you can do that's argument names or parameter names so a plus b cumulative sum so it will key basis key basis so first start with a zero zero plus one then one plus one two two plus one three three plus one like this cumulative values at key basis then do the collect and you see word count is done and uh, 56 times the triple r is available like this you see free is available three times there are many words like uh, rama is available uh, 42 times like this even we're not eliminated any special characters we're not eliminated any numbers because just we are taking total word okay now if you want to sort based on maximum word which is repeated more times so for that you can go with a sort by key okay so rdd count so i create another rdd and then on top of this i'll do sort by key so but when you go with the sort by key default is ascending default is ascending but key basis key basis we'll collect the data so so key basis it is doing so key basis means your string first string is there so that basis it is doing that so instead of that i want to exchange the of key key is the left side right and right side is the value this is the key this is the value so by default it will do the key basis special characters characters you see this a b c d like ascending order now what i'll do i'll go with the changing key to value value to key so using a map transformation so use map transformation and input lambda function and change that positions using a slicing so python slicing is a list so you can go with the index uh, zero and one zero is the key one is a value so i'll change one as a key comma index zero is the so actually two two is the value right value is index position one i'm going to make it as a key and the index zero is the key i'm going to make it as a value now apply sort by key and uh, use a false default is ascending if you make it as false it will do the descending order now you see the word count so 728 times that is available 298 times off is available like this you can see this film is available 169 times so this is about word count analysis word count analysis then if you want to save this data you can create another rdd and while saving this if you are looking for only one file then 
go and store that into file rdd final dot colis so use a colis transformation to reduce number of partitions to one then use a save as a text to file and save the location rrr data rrr word count so in this location i'm going to save this data okay so this location you can find this data file you can verify using a percentage of sls so we use the police one so only one file you can find this so this file will be having a word count whatever we did you can read this file using a head so now we can say the word count and similarly if you want to convert this into data frame we can convert into data frame consider using a 2df can convert into data frame and we can show you i'll show you first data so default by uh, top 20 it will display top 20 you can see this and the columns it will create underscore one underscore two you can create your own columns so specifying your column names count then word in a python list specify the column names it will convert your rdd into data frame and you see the data frame structured format count and word word wise count value you can see this so this way which we can go with the word count program or word count analysis using a PySpark rdd the major thing if you look at here even you can apply a lot of data validations just to understand that how to read how to split data and how to convert into multiple words splitting uh, based on uh, the elementor then mapping adding one then reducing by key so accumulating the cumulative sum each word basis that is called reduce by key then sorting based on key and uh, if you want to sort based on value then exchange the positions sorting based on value by default so this way which we can achieve a word count analysis even if you're not using RDD in cloud, majorly we, we are using data frame. It's interview point of view, knowledge point of view. You can go through this. And uh, if you come across any kind of questions, you can easily answer. Okay. So thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel if you're not subscribed. See you in another video. Have a good day. Thank you.